Hey everyone, Jamie here from technicalcafe.com. Welcome to your 29th HTML tutorial. In the last couple tutorials, we started working on HTML project 2, which is creating a multi-page website. Um, so in the last couple tutorials, I showed you uh, what the website was going to look like, as well as how to create this menu that we have up here, uh, where you click on it, it brings you to the appropriate page and bolts the page name that you're on. Um, so that's basically what we started doing there. Uh, so in this tutorial, we're just going to continue on with HTML project 2, uh, and we're going to start adding uh, some content to our website here. So we're going to start adding the home, about, news, and contact, uh, all the stuff that should be on our page down here. So uh, one thing before we start doing that, though, is I actually want to change the uh, way that the links up here look. Uh, as you can see, these are all visited links, um, so they're going to have an under, underline uh, with purple. Um, so we're going to change that to make all the links, whether or not they're visited or active, black. So if you remember from the uh, hyperlinks tutorial, we can do that by going into our body tag and specifying a link equals and we'll say black and vlink equals and we'll say black. So if we save that, come over here and refresh, you'll notice that all of our links are black on the uh, index page only. Uh, we just got to add this code to the rest of the web page here. So if we just copy this and come in and paste it in here, paste it in there and paste that in there and we'll save these all and we'll come back over here uh, so every link that we click on now is going to leave the rest black whether or not they're visited or active uh, and this is just good in case users have visited your website before you don't want them to have purple links to look at um, so they're all the same color and it all stays standard throughout so uh, that's just a good thing to keep in mind there uh, but one more thing using this method uh, for keeping the links the same color instead of CSS or something like that uh, every single link on your web page now is going to be black um, unless you somehow other specify otherwise specify the color um, so uh, it has its, its kind of a double-edged sword, I guess you could say. Um, but for right now, and for the simplicity of this website, this is okay. So let's go about adding our content to our web page now. So on the index page, we're just going to add a couple lines of text saying uh, "Welcome to the website" or something like that. Uh, so we'll create a paragraph tag here, and we'll say "Welcome to technicalcafe.com." Uh, what else should we say? We should say "Thank you for visiting." And in between here, maybe we'll say, uh, please feel free to check out the web pages. So if we save this, come over here and refresh, you'll see that we have our little blurb here. Um, so let, let's go ahead and center that. And we'll close our center tags. And if we refresh here, you'll notice that now we have our web page. Um, we have our little text uh, letting users know what our web page is about and what they can do here. Uh, so we'll go over here to the About page now, and we'll start editing this. Um, so what we're going to do for our About page is a little bit different than our Index page. Uh, we're going to want to create and center uh, a header, and we'll say H1, or H2 rather. Uh, see how that looks, and we'll say About. Uh, this way users know that this is the About page, it's not the Index page. Um, so just gives them a little bit of information as to what's there. So if we come over here and refresh, you notice that now we have an about, so it lets users know that we're on the about section, and anything else underneath here uh, is what the website's about. So let's just add in a couple lines of text. Uh, we'll do another center. And we'll add some paragraph tags. So we'll say Technical Cafe is a website where you can find uh, information about technology as well as tips, tricks, and tutorials on a variety of different tech topics. Please feel free to send in any suggestions. Okay, uh, just something so that we can have some text to work with here. Uh, and if you can see here that all of our text is actually spread out across the page here. So one thing that we're going to want to do is fix that uh, inserting a couple line breaks so that we don't have to worry about uh, the text looking uh, so stretched out. So now uh, one way we could do this is create a div like we did in our previous uh, uh, project one when we created the profile pages. But seeing as this is a pure, uh, purely CSS, uh, purely HTML rather, uh, we're just going to create a line break maybe after tricks. We'll see how that looks, and we'll save this. Come over here and refresh. Okay, that looks fine. Uh, so this is where we're going to leave that off there. Um, so we'll just bump that down to make it look a little bit better. And we'll come over here 
and we'll create a space. Okay, it still looks the same, but it just looks a little bit more uh, readable within our um, code here. So uh, another, the next thing we're going to want to do is add some links in here, uh, where we basically just add a couple uh, like links to our Twitter feed and stuff like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to, within the center tag, we're just going to create a new paragraph. Now we're going to say, please feel free to check us out on the f uh, following websites. And what we're going to do is we're going to actually save this, come over here, just refresh to make sure it looks okay. And we're going to put, let's say, uh, Twitter. So a href equals, and we'll close that. And in here we'll say Twitter, and we'll create our link here. And if you remember from the uh, links tutorial that the HTTP is necessary, otherwise it'll assume you're linking to a twitter.com uh, page within this directory here, uh, which doesn't exist, so your users will get an error. So we'll say twitter.com slash jamie, or technicalcafe.com rather, and we'll just create another link, and we'll link it to the YouTube channel. So uh, we'll say a href equals YouTube slash a, and we'll come over here, and we'll say HTTP. Okay, so let's take a look at this now, see what this looks like. And you'll notice that we have uh, two links that are black, so no matter how many times we click on them, uh, they'll still look the same. So if we go to our Technical Cafe Twitter uh, page and we come back, it's still going to stay uh, black, and the same goes for the YouTube page here too. Okay, so now that we have this, um, let's just leave off for here and we'll go to our news page. Um, so I'm just going to end the video here since we're kind of running short on time, and then we'll uh, move on to our news and contact pages. So thank you for watching, and please feel free to check out the next video.